Okay, everybody, finally, it's me. Yeah. You probably can't recognize me because I'm not wearing a shirt and tie. I'll tell you why in a moment. Anyway, so this is my post-market wrap-up on this Thursday, April 30th, 2020. Well, I have been in computer hell <laughs> literally for the past two hours. So I chucked the shirt and tie trying to get this to work here. I hope this video works. All right, here's the situation. Stocks finished lower across the board, nothing major. I'll tell you why that happened in just a moment. But before we get there, I want to bring something much bigger to your attention. Okay, so today, the 30th, the last day of the month, I want you to think about what I'm about to say. The stock market just had its best month with regard to gains since 1987. Let that sink in. The stock market just had its best month since 1987 with regard to gains. Yeah, despite the fact that we have zero economy, we're in a deep freeze, we found out today over 30 million people here in America alone lost their jobs in the last six weeks. We have small businesses shuttering across America. Mm -hmm. Gross domestic product, personal spending, and consumer spending plunge. As a matter of fact, they plunge at a near record pace. And yet again, I'm going to say it, the best month for the stock market since 1987. Something isn't adding up here. What's going on? Well, obviously we know what's going on here. We've had a V-shaped recovery off the bottom. This is the Federal Reserve pumping trillions upon trillions upon trillions of dollars into this market, funneling it around the entire world. Do you realize that we are, the Federal Reserve, in collusion with the Treasury, is putting in the equivalent of the entire TARP program about every eight hours into this market? I mean, that's how big this is. That's what it took to have a dead economy have its best month for the stock market in decades. Absolutely incredible. Now, why did the stock market not gain today? Well, stock futures were lower as I covered in my morning video. Right out of the hole, we were down like 400 points. Stocks started to recover. We almost went positive. And then President Trump comes out threatening China. He's threatening to retaliate financially against China for their poor handling of the coronavirus. Okay, stock market didn't like that. Reverse, finish in the negative. Again, what I mean in the negative, we're talking about 1%, a little bit more than 1% across the board. Big freaking deal. Big freaking deal. All right, it's nothing. So the real question is, it's pretty simple. There's a lot of people out here, including those, some with very big names like Jeffrey Gunlock, who's been short this market. Uh, we had some award-winning economists come out st stating stocks are going to plunge 40% or more. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to say this. Could the stock market fall 40% or more? Sure it could. What are the chances of that happening? Near zero. Near zero. Why? Again, let's put this together. The best month we've had in this stock market since 1987, despite everything that's going on. An economic deep freeze. We have no economy. We are at Great Depression levels with regard to unemployment, GDP, cratering, personal spending, cratering. Uh, I mean, you could go on and on. It's over. We have nothing. Yet the stock market ha just had its best month in decades. 
So if we have an environment completely fake where the Fed is buying all the debt, talking about buying all the debt, Boeing, there is an entity out here, and I'm going to give you one guess of who it is, that's buying enormous amounts of Boeing debt. You think it might be the Federal Reserve? Bing, 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 bing. Yeah, it is. It's the Federal Reserve. They're buying Boeing debt. You're not supposed to know about it. And it will not show up on their balance sheet. No, no, no. That's in the dark money balance sheet, which you're not allowed to see. Absolutely not. So the Fed's buying all the debt, including corporate debt, which we know. We, we're there, we already knew that. The Fed already said they were going to do it. But they're buying enormous amounts of Boeing debt right now. In your face. The Fed is funneling trillions of dollars around the world. They're funneling trillions of dollars to banks on Wall Street, the investment banks around the world to buy the stock market. So you tell me, what will it take for the stock market to fall 40% or more, like some people are talking about? It'll take a freaking black swan event, unlike anything you've ever heard of in the history of the world. That's the truth. Um, you know, I'll tell you something. It almost seems impossible. The stock market is not real at all. There's no price discovery mechanism whatsoever. How can there be when you have the Federal Reserve buying everything? When you have the Wall Street banks being given unlimited amounts of cash to buy the stock market? Doesn't make sense to me. So guys like Jeffrey Gunlock, who I happen to respect very much, are losing millions, if not tens of millions, trying to be short this market. Like I said, we just had the best month since 1980 freaking seven it's unbelievable isn't it all right let's talk about a few other things here gold and silver got hit today bitcoin fell fractionally um let me say this about cryptocurrencies cryptocurrencies are going higher i know a lot of you are in some kind of a delusion and you keep telling me i'm wrong okay the last time bitcoin made a run higher i nailed it to the wall I told people to dump it at 18,000. I nailed that to the wall. I told people to start buying it here at 3,700. You've more than doubled your money and then some. Um, you could take some of that cash that you've made in Bitcoin that you would have potentially made and convert that into something else. You got to start thinking outside the box. I don't care what the asset might be called. Uh, if you got a guy like me telling you, again, this is maybe what you should do, you should probably listen. I'm being honest again. If you got in like I did and like a lot of my lines did at Bitcoin 3,700, we're almost at 9,000. I want you to think about what I'm talking about. This is an enormous amount of capital. With regard to precious metals, good. Let them play their games. We're going to play ours. We have parabolic debt. It's parabolic um, trillions and trillions like I said we are the the Federal Reserve is pumping the equivalent of the TARP program every several hours into these markets it's unprecedented so how are we going to get a 40 percent or more sell-off in this market I have no idea it would take it would probably take an act of God to do that um I don't know another way to put it could it happen certainly it could but the chances are very remote and I don't care anyway. You know that. I don't care which way the market goes. If it goes up, I'm going to be making money. If it goes down, me and my lions are going to be making money. Either direction, we don't care. The Wall Street banks don't care. The investment banks don't care. Only people who do care is if you're in an investment vehicle that only makes money when the stocks go up. That's it. People that know the market don't care. If it goes up, great. You ever hear this? Bulls make money, bears make money, pigs get slaughtered. That's the truth. Pigs get slaughtered because they tend to be overly greedy. When you have a gain in a, in, in a position, you close it, you don't wait for it to go south on you and, and lose it all. And then, and then some. That's why pigs get slaughtered. You understand? It's very, very simple. So let's put this together real quick. Best month since 1987 for the stock market with regard to gains despite the fact that we have no economy zero deep freeze we have depression level unemployment we have economic indicators all of them pointing towards worse things coming down the pike 
Don't matter. Stock's going up. It's the Fed. It's the Wall Street banks. It's not real. You understand? All right, look. With that said, I think you know my take on this market falling 40% or more from here. Could it happen? Sure it could. Does Greg care? Not at all. Um, I really don't care. And um, if you allow, look, if you allow me to put a perspective on things for you, I make this very simple. I tell you a lot of stuff that's going to happen before it does. Okay? Look at my record. Have I been, been right all the time? Absolutely not. But I have been right 80, 85% of the time with regard to my calls, with regard to what I'm going to what I'm talking about here. It's unprecedented. It really is. And it's not because I'm any smarter than anyone else. I just work at this stuff all the time. So let me help you. Seriously, speaking of letting me help you, if you have not signed up for my free newsletter, you're missing out on all kinds of things. In the description of this lovely video, there is a link to sign up for my free newsletter. I'm going to suggest you do it. I send out several per day with information you're not going to find anywhere else. Not even here. This guy right here loves you. Please share the video. I hope this works. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. I'm out of here.